Okay, so now we want to do the uh, finishing operation for this part. So remember in our first, uh, our previous session, we've left 0 0.025 material around our part that we need to finish now. So all you have to do, which is really nice in here, is just uh, either right click over here, copy, or I can control C and then click on here the red arrow, which indicates the next operation and do a control V. So there's your previous operation. There's your next operation. Let's go ahead and go ahead click on parameters we're going to be changing a few things over here so for the tool for this one we're going to choose a 1 8 inch ball end mill so go ahead and click on select library filter changes to 0.125 click on ok and then double click on the 1 8 ball end mill let's go ahead and click on holder and we're going to open the library uh, for that one under your tool make sure it's a ct40 open it's going to be a C4, C4, 0025. Now, uh, this is going to be the same same uh, holder that's going to, that held our previous tool. We'll hold this tool. So make sure you have two of them if you, if you, do, or if you are using something that is very similar. So if all your holders are similar, uh, make sure you also save it to library uh, after you set it up. Sometimes uh, the, the default holders for Mastercam are close but not the same. So what you would do is you would change the... Uh, segments properties over here uh, to the appropriate uh, though to the appropriate one that you're using and then you would save it to library this way you know what it is and uh, you can load it every time with your tool okay so after you have this done click on cut pattern we're gonna keep this the same but we're gonna change the computer to off compensation to off and then the stock to leave on drive surface we're gonna change this to zero okay also, we're going to change the across step over to 1, to 0 0.01, 10 thou, and then also along step over to 10 thou. So that might actually take a long time to uh, to verify, but it will the surface will be a lot smoother in that way. So the across the step over, this is between one path and the next, and along step over, it's between one point of the curve and the next. Okay, so that will allow it to be much smoother. The smaller these two are, the smoother the paths are, and the, smooth, the smoother the surface is as well. Okay, so tool axis control, we're going to leave this the same. Go ahead and go under collision control. Compensation surface will be the same as well. The tool axis control, this is where you select your line, and we're going to keep that the same. We're going to use the same line. Uh, under linking uh, parameters over here, we're going to keep those the same as well. Uh, we definitely don't want our part to be hitting anything. Um, come over here under link and parameters and click on the entry and exit. Uh, you can also leave those the same if you want. You can see that these actually changed to 200% because we've changed our tool. But and, uh, to be able to maintain the 0.25 that we've defined over here, it changed the length to 200% because remember now we have half the diameter of the tool. And that's okay. You can keep it at 200% if you like. It's not a big deal. Okay, uh, you can turn it back to 100 if you like as well, just to make sure the tool clears. It doesn't really matter, but 200%, it just means that you are be, uh, being very, very safe with your operation. Okay, now big thing over here, roughing operation. We want to make sure we disable that. We already finished this part. Okay, you can do a depth cut and you can do a one cut if you want, a 0 0.025 or whatever you want to tell it to do. But for us, we've already told it this by going to the cut pattern and telling the stock to leave is zero. So we're already telling it machine whatever is left over. So we don't need to set up anything else in here. So after you have this done, click on apply and then click on okay. And this sets up your operation. So I'm gonna select both these operations now and then click on verify and okay. So now it's uh, verifying mainly the second operation over here for me and setting that up to be uh, simulated. So I'm going to wait a little bit because remember, I used a 0 0.01 uh, as a step over for each of those. So this, those blue lines, basically, <laughs> that's why I can't see my part is because there's so many toolpaths uh, in this exercise that we're using in this session. So it's going to take a little bit of time and uh, it will verify and uh, I will resume as this, this is done. All right, so there we go. It took a little while to go through, but it uh, finally did. Now, what I had to actually go back and do, I went back and I changed the uh, step over to 0 0.05 again. 
I do want to step over at 0 0.01, it took a lot of resources from my computer, and actually my computer couldn't handle it, so it was taking a long time to go through. So I just changed it to 0 0.05 again, so both surface finish for the roughing and finishing will be the same, the same step over, but in a real exercise I would recommend you change, you mi minimize the step over, at least make it uh, half. For me I made it actually uh, the, um, you know, one-fifth of it. Is smaller and so I'll try to change that and run it again and see if it does actually affect it let's go ahead and click on play and you're gonna see your operation take place so it's gonna be every pass so I'm gonna make sure I make this go a lot faster this way we can see every pass because there's gonna be eight passes in total so this is your first second you're on the third one And you can see the shape it will start thick through but by the end of the yellow it will leave the uh, 0 0.025 around but now it's going to be the blue and this is going to be your finishing pass okay now you can see it's not all in uh, blue and that's because the yellow basically takes care of almost everything because of a rounded surface it actually uh, gets rid of a lot of that material for you so 0 0.025 at 20 thou is not that much but this gets rid of it for you now. Also, another reason why you can't see uh, the last uh, surface finish, surface pa finish pass is not all in blue. Is also the surface finish because we we went through a same surface finish as the previous uh, tool, and it did not uh, it did not help us to do so uh, it, to show uh, basically our surface you know our finished part. But if I put this into the front view, you're gonna notice that that's exactly the part that we want finished. It looks exactly like the one we want. Can zoom in a little bit you can see the surface finish uh, on the part is probably not as good as we want because of that distance the step over distance in between so let's go back over here and try to go back in parameters and i'm going to change the uh cut per pattern to be at least half of that okay now i changed this to point zero 0.01 before and it took a long time to calculate so let me try to do this in point zero two five. And maybe I can show you guys the difference in the surface finish with that one. So I'm going to verify the operations. And now I can see my operations are being calculated. So this will take a little bit too. But at least it will calculate and I will be able to see uh, the surface um, uh, finish in between. And I can compare the two. So I will uh, let this ride and I will continue as, uh, as this operation is uh, finished uh, going through its path. So there we go, uh, now it's finished. Uh, I'm gonna put this in isometric view and fit the screen and click on the play operation. You're gonna see your uh, roughing operations are taking place now. So these are your roughing uh, toolpath. Uh, one step of 0.125 at a time. If you notice over here, you're, if you actually do this, uh, make this part yourself in a machine, it would take 12 hours to do. Definitely not recommend that if you're practicing. So uh, just be careful, uh, you know, most of these exercises I'm doing there doesn't mean that they're something that you would actually do. See now you can see more of the blue surface. Now blue is just a color indicating that you're doing the finishing operation. It doesn't necessarily mean anything else. But you can see more of the part is now uh, being shown that it's machining. And that's because the, so let me go ahead and move this over here maybe. I know it's still going to be, so let me let me go back and get it. All the way here and then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move it all the way to right here so this is gonna calculate my entire uh, path if I when I move this uh, arrow over here it calculates my entire path up, up until this point this way it allows me to calculate because the finishing pass is only one pass through the entire part it allows me to calculate and see the difference between the f roughing and the finishing operation so now it's done over here just give it a little bit there you go so now if I zoom in you're gonna see that the distance in between the uh, roughing, uh, the finishing operation is from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. You can see that they are about half the size of these roughing steps. So this step is 0.1 at a time. So every every one of these steps is 0.1 at a time. And that's why you see a little radius over here. And you can see now I cut that in half to 0 0.025. Now those steps are a little bit less and you can see more and more of the blue area. Now if I set this up to a 0.01, it would also show, it would more than likely show the entire part as being blue after this operation ended because that's what it's supposed to uh, be. But 
uh, I wasn't worried about seeing my surface finish in this one. Uh, so for me, for example, as long as I know that my part will, is doing uh, its job correctly, that my tool is uh, correct over here, all I need to do is exit. I can change this in my parameters to 0 0.01, backplot it, and that's it. So I'll just backplot it and then get the G code out. So then I'll press on the G code and get my G code and you know do my post processing into the machine and that should be good but it would take a long time to machine so like i said this is just an example definitely do not recommend putting this into the machine so this concludes uh, this session in our next session we're going to play a little bit around with our machine simulation